storage depot was hit. And here is new video closer to the scene. This is an area that has a large military airfield and multiple fuel tanks. Quoting from the mayor now, the enemy wants to destroy everything around, but he will not be successful. Our airfield was shelled under control of Ukraine. The mayor adding, the night will be difficult here as well in Kyiv, but we will stand our ground and we will win because God is with us. Perhaps that's the reason why it appears Belarusian troops may be joining the Russian troops. That's according to Ukrainian intelligence. What do you think about that? Right, and that's absolutely a great point. Let me let me highlight this. This is the Dnieper River. Important to keep that in mind. What's important now is that when the Russians came in, they came in on the west side of that river. They did not separate their forces wisely because if they got into Kiev they would have had a difficult time supporting each each of those elements across the river. So what the Ukrainians have been doing is they've been cutting some of these bridges across there and so the Russian forces are getting tied up in this area right now. Therefore, center of gravity, they need some additional forces and so they're going to bring some forces in from Belarus. That's additional firepower, additional maneuver, additional infantry. Those forces have not been committed, and they've already been through exercises. They were exercising with the Russian forces, military exercises, a few weeks ago. So they are fresh, they are ready, and they have increased their preparedness as a result of that. They're now going to be committed. So I would see that this would be a significant place that we really need to continue to pay attention to.
for Ukrainian citizens fleeing from the war to safety. In fact, all 27 nations in the bloc have decided to accept Ukrainian refugees without asylum applications. The decision was agreed unanimously following a meeting of its interior ministers. Because Russia is attempting to hit long-range targets. They're pulling up artillery pieces to within 20 miles, and the Ukrainians can't get...
and experienced a recent surge of cases of COVID-19. Low rates of testing since the start of the conflict mean there is likely to be significant undetected transmission. Just in the beginning. Don't think that it was the end in itself or a purpose in itself. The vote is a powerful message to the Russian Federation. Thank you. 